What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about why I believe the minimal sneaker is the best choice for us OGs. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like John Scott, salute. Now a common question I get from guys as they get a little older, want to remain stylish, but don't quite want to go the wingtip or dress shoe route, what shoes can I wear to help me step my game up while still looking casual and athletic? That's what we're going to talk about today. My answer to that question, the low profile minimal sneaker. I'm going to talk to you about why, as you get a little older, but still want to be cool, casual, and sleek, it's the best choice of sneakers for us OGs. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Now first off, as you get older, I'm not saying you no longer can wear your Jordans or your Air Maxes, but wear them at your own risk. Yes, you still can look stylish in a pair of Jordan 1s, and I still rock them from time to time but you can look a little more juvenile wearing a basketball sneaker. That's why a better choice for most older guys is a low profile minimal sneaker. And it's for a bunch of reasons. One of the main reasons, it fits you. As you become older, you're becoming more refined, more mature, more elegant. And that's what a low profile minimal sneaker gives you. It's sleek, it's refined, it's elegant, it's evolved. It's not gonna be chunky like a basketball sneaker it's gonna be super versatile. It's just a more mature, elevated look, but you still get to look casual and athletic at the same time. A great balance. Casual and athletic without looking juvenile. That's what you're shooting for as you get a little older, but still wanna rock sneakers. And one of the great things about a low profile minimal sneaker, there's a wide range of choices and brands and price points. You can go all the way back and at a low price point, with a classic Stan Smith. But I recommend for us guys, as we get a little older, and hopefully you have a little bit more money in your pocket, spend more on a quality leather minimal sneaker. A Stan Smith, although it will work well, very cheap leather. A refined gentleman shouldn't be wearing cheap leather. When you go up in price point, you get a higher quality leather shoe, just like you would in a dress shoe. Some of the brands I recommend when you're looking for a more quality sneaker, go for Beckett Seminon. Oliver Cabell, Koyo, the list goes on and on. Just like what happens with a good quality dress shoe, you're gonna spend more for a better shoe. Cheap leather is usually just that, cheap. And one of the things I really love about a low profile minimal sneaker, your ability to dress it up and dress it down. I wear a minimal sneaker with anything from jeans, chinos, even a suit, your favorite pair of trousers. Because it has a more refined, elevated look, it works in a wide range of situations that your Jordans won't. And I often like to pair it with clothes you wouldn't normally wear sneakers with. It's a great way to balance casual and dressy at the same time. Like I said, I'll rock a pair of trousers. I'll even go with a suit. Because the low profile minimal sneaker is less bulky, it's much easier to wear with dressier pants like chinos and trousers. And with a lot of guys dressing more casually these days, a lot of fellas are looking to mix dressier and casual items together to create a different style of look. I love to do that with low profile minimal sneakers. And another great thing I love about the low profile minimal sneaker, you can go from anywhere from white to a bunch of different colors. Of course, I have several pairs of white, but I have different shades of brown. I have gray, I have black. No matter what color sneaker you like, you can find a low profile minimal version just for you. And with your low profile minimal sneakers, a lot of times you're gonna have no fuss, no extra detail. You're just gonna have a nice elevated quality of leather, a nice blank slate to work with. But I also recommend you give a try to a couple of other style of minimal low profile sneakers with just a little bit more detail. Whether it's a court shoe, love the detailing of this style, or the German army trainer with its gum sole and its hits of suede, you still have a minimal sneaker, but just a little bit of detailing to make it stand out. Now, once you start wearing your minimal sneakers, you wanna take care of them just like you would a quality dress shoe. I highly recommend, just like you should be doing with your dress shoes, put a shoe tree 
in your sneaker when you're done wearing it. It'll help maintain it just like a dress shoe. And because I'm recommending you spend a little bit more money on these minimal sneakers, you want to get the most bang for your buck. Using shoe trees will make them last years and years. And on top of that, when you're using a cedar shoe tree, it'll help eliminate odor. A definite problem people can run into, rocking sneakers. Just like you would after rocking a pair of dress shoes, within an hour of taking them off, put the shoe tree in and leave them in for about 24 hours minimum. It will help maintain the shape, draw out moisture and odor. Hands down to me, the low profile minimal sneaker is the best choice for an older guy. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you can still rock your Jordans if you choose. You can throw on those Air Maxes if it so pleases you. And I still do from time to time myself. But if you want a more elevated, refined, elegant, and more mature look, I highly recommend you incorporate minimal, low profile, quality sneakers in your wardrobe. So all my OG sneaker heads out there, let me know if you agree in the comment section. Do you feel like older guys who wear less bulkier shoes as they elevate their game and go towards the minimal sneaker? 